Hey guys, and welcome back to another Unfiltered Gamer card game review. Today's game up on the tabletop is called Mixed Company. It's for ages 10 and up, it takes about 15 to 30 minutes to play the game, and it plays three to six players. In the game Mixed Company, you're basically going to be getting question cards, as well as a bunch of other cards, and you'll be starting up a conversation. Players are gonna be debating on certain things based on a vote of which cards they want to debate on, using things like trophies to determine who has the best conversation of a certain type, as well as challenge cards. Maybe you're gonna try and make people play devil's advocate, or maybe you're going to have players do certain interesting things like give them an answer or a source or cite an example or play something, uh, what is this? Uh, ask, uh, ask someone else to share a supporting topic for your argument on this topic. So give me, a, give me a helping hand, basically. And there's three rounds of gameplay. You're gonna be getting a certain amount of cards that allow you to vote on certain questions that will be asked. And you're gonna have this interesting like back and forth conversation with the table. At the end of each round, you're gonna score points based on how well you did with the challenges and based on the awards you've been giving out and whoever has the most points after three rounds is going to be the winner of the game mixed company anyway let's go ahead and take it down below i'll show you what you get in the game how to play a round or so and then we'll come up and i'll give you my review let's go now so here's Mixed Company and everything included in the game. And as you can see, there's quite a different array of cards here. You're gonna have the question cards here, which can either be green, which is pretty much safe for everybody. There's blue, and there's also gonna be pink, which is safe, not safe for work. The blue ones are gonna be ages 16 and up. These are the voting cards. They'll be the no's, the yeses, and the vetoes. You'll have these cards here, which are gonna be your trophy cards. Uh, these over here are going to be your actions, and then these over here are going to be your challenges. Basically how it works is you're going to distribute cards to every single player. You'll be giving them the question cards, they're gonna be giving them these voting cards, and then three of each of these guys as well. And it's gonna take place in three rounds. Basically the first thing that's gonna happen is every player is going to submit a question card to a pool. And depending on the number of players, how many additional questions you'll be adding from the deck, you're always going to have six of them here. And players are then going to choose to vote on a question, and you're gonna be using these cards to vote. Yeses are plus one, noes are minus one, and then vetoes allow you to not use that question, period. Basically, after everybody votes on these cards here, the card that has the highest number is the one that's gonna be chosen. So for example, if it was something like this, this one would have two, this would have one, these would all have negative one, and this one would have a veto, which means that this would be the question that is asked. And then, the rest are going to be removed. So you'll be using this question here, and it says, should parents be able to surrender custody of a child to the state because of a child's sexual orientation? That one's a bit spicy, as you can see, but the other ones are a little less spicy, like should college athletes be paid, or what should be free that isn't free? After that, every player is also going to issue a challenge card to a player, and challenge cards basically can... Um, be things that they are going to be forced to do throughout the game. Uh, let's let's see a couple of the challenges here. This one says your challenge will be to choose a topic related uh, word you can't say this round. The chosen word can't be restricted that you cannot participate. And so they won't be able to use a certain word. And if they don't, they're going to score points at the end of the round. Then players are just going to discuss the specific topic at hand. So for instance, if it was the college athletes, should college athletes be paid? Players are going to go back and forth, starting with the player who selected the card. And if the person did not select a card, if there's nobody who selected the card, it came from the top of the deck, then it's kind of going to be a free for all in which players are going to be able to play action cards face down, and they're gonna have a total of three of them for the three rounds. And as they play action cards, they're going to have players do certain things. For instance, maybe they're gonna have them do something like, give me more details on the topic. And generally speaking, it'll be towards the player that is currently talking. Maybe it'll be something like, give me an example as well, or give me an answer or cite my sources, all those kind of things. And if they can successfully do so, they're going to score additional points throughout the round. After the round is over and people have had a discussion based on the time limit that you have all allocated, then you're going to award trophies to players based on how well they did, based on the conversation that was had. Best personal example, the best wordplay, best supporting points, most enjoyable conversation, best new perspective, so on and so forth. Additionally, there's going to come with some unique cards in the game that you can kind of, kind of make your own questions up if you would like. And then you're going to play a second round and a third round. Players that have additional cards left in their hand at the end of a round are going to score or negative points based on those cards if they succeed in actions and challenges or score points as well as gaining trophy cards and basically you're going to determine who has the most points after all of the rounds and that player is going to be the winner of the game mixed 
company. What do you wish you could ask? So that's the basic way you play the game Mixed Company. You're basically trying to determine which questions you want to have a conversation about. And after you guys have come to a conclusion on that, you're then going to give each other challenges as well as trophies and actions that you can go ahead and play throughout the game, trying to score points by completing these selective missions, so to speak, while having an engaging conversation about the questions at hand. The game comes with quite a lot of question cards, along with a bunch of make your own and three different types of cards would allow you to either have some more risque questions to some moderate questions to some basic questions like how young is too young for a child to stay overnight at a friend's house or how old should someone be before they start dating or why can't a woman take her shirt off in public when a man can then you got a little bit more of a spicy take on a couple cards let's go ahead and talk about those should an employer be able to require you to cover piercings and tattoo cover piercings and tattoos at work or should the drinking age be lowered to 20 uh, from 21 to 18 or how about your best friend is adopted and you just found out who one of your biological parents is, but they are not going to like it. What do you do? So there's some like interesting conversational topics. Uh, additionally, all the trophies, which I kind of went through already, best new perspective, most enjoyable conversation, the best supporting points, the best wordplay, things like that you're going to give to players based on how they kind of interact with specific questions that are asked throughout the game. Uh, give me an example or an answer. Ask someone a question. Uh, their response should be a full and satisfying answer. These things are basically to keep the conversation going, allowing players to kind of interact in something they may or may not be interested in doing necessarily but they might do so for the points of it all and then finally these uh, specific uh, these are challenges here. Make an argument you uh, like a term paper with more citations, more examples, and more fancy words. Make your argument like a, yeah, oh, sorry, let's say another one. Break it down. Explain as though you are speaking to a young child. Pay attention to vocabulary and how you share concepts. And then to the extreme. Take your argument to the extreme with the most ridiculous points you can think of. Satire is encouraged and uh, counterpoints. Take the opposite point of view or the devil's advocate. So there's bunches of different ways to kind of make players interact with certain things, uh, otherwise they may or may not have done so already. Personally, I like games like these. I like, it's kind of a half activity, half game because it's kind of engaging people into having constructive arguments and or conversations in which maybe people disagree at the table or people don't disagree and why and why not and then kind of forcing people out of their comfort zone certain people are going to not like this game straight up it's going to be one of those things where they're like i don't want to talk about this specific topic or these type of cards i don't like having these type of conversations and that's not going to be for these specific people however if you do like engaging in conversation having constructive arguments giving feedback and kind of like enlightening the table as to your perspective on certain things this is going to be a fun one for you. Specifically, it's a party game and it plays up to six players and the fact that the new questions can come out of the deck or not is kind of an interesting little aspect to it as well as being able to veto certain questions like that's a little too spicy for me. I'm going to go ahead and veto that just because I don't have to deal with that one. People can get upset. There's certain games I've played previously in the past that's similar to this game where questions will come up and people get so angry and frustrated. This is a nice technique to kind of avoid that from happening. Whereas if you're with a group of people who like the spicy questions, they may choose to not veto that as much and kind of keep that that kind of like more risque feature to the game added or included and allowing people to kind of go at it a little more depth and whatnot and it's fun it has that game aspect to an activity and or conversation it's kind of all mashed up into one playing three rounds doesn't take very long it can be very engaging and each round kind of forces players to kind of talk to each other about certain things it's a great icebreaker it's a great game to start players uh, you know jumping in if you've never met people before and also it has a way of bringing out the best and worst in people which is kind of fun when it comes to gaming right anyway if you're interested in this type of game definitely take a look down below for mixed company I think it's on Kickstarter today or tomorrow and uh, let me know what you think down below in the comment section below if this is a game that you'd be interested in why or why not something personally I enjoy but I can definitely see why people may or may not enjoy this as well all right guys thanks for watching and as always I look forward to see you guys next time